Hey there farmers, it's Red Knight here and welcome back to one of my cool Heyday Farm videos. Now today's video is going to be focusing on the new neighborhood request option. So let's head on over to my baby farm and have a look. Now if you look down in your neighborhood, you will notice that there are some new changes there. One relates to the table and the patio, the other one is that beautiful gate with the pathway and this wonderful birdhouse. Now the birdhouse is what we're going to be focusing on in this video because what happens here is that you can actually request items from other players within your hood and then they can then donate to you. And I love that addition to the game. Now it will depend on what level you are. If you are too low, then you're not going to be able to donate everything. So you can only help with items up to and including your current level. That's of course if you've made them. Now if you haven't made them, you are going to find that you will not be able to donate at all until you actually get those items in your storage. So you can buy them elsewhere or make them and then donate them. Now when you do donate, you only get experience coins, you don't get the coins. So it's not like you are selling them to the person, it's literally supporting each other and then donating. Now there are three kinds of requests that you can actually go for with the donation and they will depend on uh, what you are actually requesting. Now the first one that you've got there is a supply item, the second is a product and the third is a crop. Now if you're requesting a crop you can ask for 10 items or you could even ask for one if you wanted to but why not go for the maximum and just ask for 10. You can request a product. This could, be, this could include cheeses, it could include milk or bacon or any other item that you can produce on your farm up to and including your level and you can get five of those at a time as a maximum. When it comes to things like land clearing tools, for example the saws and the axes, or even the items you use in the mines like the TNT, the dynamite for example, you can request three of those items. So there are limitations within the game everybody. You cannot request hundreds of items from your supporting hood members. It's just one or two depending on which category it is. Now, every time you make a request, you can request something and then once that request is filled, you cannot request for another 8 hours. Now, for me personally, I find that too long and I would love that time to be shortened in any future updates. And it's the same with the donations. You can only donate a maximum of 20 items in a 24 hour period. Now, that for me is, again, not good enough because I would like to be able to donate a lot more within a 24 hour period to be able to support my hoodies with any of the boat or the truck tasks, even the town tasks that they are doing. So fingers crossed at some stage it will change. Now every time you do donate it goes towards your actual weekly total and every Monday the donations and requests are counted and you are given a special title for that week. Now the titles from the top downwards are most generous, the philanthropist, super trader, well-rounded, top of the crop, lucky trader, by the numbers, aspiring trader and a light trader. Now I've done two of them so far, I've been a light trader and the aspiring trader and at some stage I hope to actually move up to the rest of them. Now how do you get these titles? It's actually very easy, you need to request or donate. Now, to get the light trader, you need to donate and request less than 100 items in total. For the aspiring trader, it's donating 100 or requesting 100 in total again, but more than the 100, so 101 and above. For by the numbers, you can donate 123 items, but only request 45. Lucky Trader donated 88 and requested 88. So good luck with that one. That's a nice little challenge to go for. Top of the Crop is requested 210 items. Well Rounded donated 100 items, requested 100. Super Trader donated 140, requested more than 60. The Philanthropist, 70, between 70 and 140 items donated and requested zero. And the most generous, you've donated 140 items and you've requested zero. So good luck with trying to get these. It would be interesting to see who can get each one of these uh, around the world first. Do let me know by sending me some images if you've got them. 
Now, every time you actually do do something towards this donation, you've got the opportunity of actually getting achievements. And the Generous Neighbor achievement is actually pretty cool. The first one you get will allow you to actually get this beautiful birdhouse that has a actual crow rest on top of it. And that is for 60 requests and basically 60 supporting activities. The next upgrade will be at 450 and you get the beautiful patio floor upgraded. And the last one is 4000 and this one will give you a beautiful gate with a wonderful flowered archway. So do go for it everybody and again I can't wait to see some of these within the game. Now every time you request an item it will appear on the actual patio floor and once you've collected it it goes into your storage. So do request away and do support each other. The neighborhood request and donation option is actually a very very useful service and I can't wait as it becomes uh, more and more used within the actual uh, neighborhoods. Now fingers crossed that Supercell i.e. the Heyday team does update this in the future and I really do hope that they do so. Now if you want more information do go into the actual game itself and then click on the actual button you've just seen me there to get a lot more information. So as you scroll through these four images here you can get a lot of information and it tells you what I've been telling you now. So do check it out just to make sure you are comfortable because it does indicate what you need to be aware of for the diamond request and you can see there if you've already used your free request you can place a new request using diamond and you can have one active request at a time so be careful make sure your diamond confirmation has been set otherwise you may find you are spending diamonds by mistake so good luck everybody enjoy this service uh, fingers crossed we're trying to get those actual possible titles I would like to see someone get the lucky trader and I'd also like to see someone get the well-rounded as well so let me know Okay, right, that's it for this video. Uh, good luck, as I said, with the achievements, and good luck with the trading, and I will see you all in my next Heyday video. Let me know below if you have any comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and tell all your friends about this awesome game. I will see you later on YouTube, and I will see you on Camcord as well. So, see you all next time, and have a happy Heyday now. Goodbye.